I've often wondered what the average man thinks about major. Yay! Actual dialogue. Dead, you could ask. Oh, but wait. <laughs> that would involve talking to dirty commoners like me. True. Sorian isn't like that. I'm a dirty commoner. Oh, and it's over. <laughs> it's fucking over. The thing is, he actually advocates for mage freedom. Dorian, you little bastard. But whatever. I decided when we're going to the deep roads that I'm going to bring, well, a dude who just wants to murder Darkspawn and that'll make him happy. Varric, notable, absolutely despises the deep roads man. And the dude who will never be caught dead being vaguely dirty. The deep roads are quite dirty. So this is gonna be horrible for everybody. Can I just make my way in now? Because for so long this door has been locked and it's been the most annoying thing in the world. It's, it's, it's still locked. That's the deep roads entrance? The only reason I did this is because I thought I was gonna be able to get my red lyrium at last. How the hell do I get in there? I'm so very confused. Whatever, okay, we'll go over there now, which is miles away. So I guess, see you guys soon? What the fuck? Oh god, I know there's a dragon around here actually, so I should be just a little bit faster than this. Oh, I don't think we have black lotus seeds though. Ah, fuck it, I'd rather get eaten by a dragon than leave these seeds behind. Because I am retarded. Now I'm a little confused, because I must have been in this That's cave before. This little cabin over here- what? What? Uh, thanks for interrupting me, Blackwell. Much appreciated. I must have been here before. That's Darkspawn. Oh good. So we even mark it on my map, so... What did it look at like inside? Like, was there any suggestion that it led to the deep roads? Like, just one of the first places I ever encountered Darkspawn? I don't know. I think there were quite a lot of Darkspawn on the roads to in, in the in uh the storm coast anyway right like we had a, this was where we had to close up all those tiny little holes in each cave or whatever the hell but i don't think it ever told me to go over here oh my god you look disgusting i don't even think you are darkspawn you just look like undead to me you definitely don't act like darkspawn you're just sort of screeching shamble oh i believe there was a rift in here in fact no we did plug up a um a darkspawn hole over here. So what, now we just gotta rip it back open and go back in? What? What's going on? Ah, uh, no, because I think we closed somewhere in sort of the foreground. I think it was literally that hole right there. Ah, uh, it does lead just a little bit further in. In fact, this is the passage. Did I just not see this last time or did it not exist? I guess we just didn't have this option. I, I don't know. Oh, who is in combat? I know I abandoned you to deal with all the darkspawn and all the spiders and literally everything else while I just snuck off invisible like a little bitch. That doesn't mean you're not supposed to follow me. Ugh, why can't you all just be invisible? Why do I have to be so cool? Ugh. Oh yeah, I sort of just expected to uh, get in there immediately. Somehow I always forget about the painful load times in this game. Which don't actually exist, so I should stop complaining about them. It is purely because I've got so many mods from what I've seen on forums and stuff. But, um, it's really annoying, <laughs> I can say that. Inquisitor. You're actually in here, Harding? You went past all those roads. fucking darkspawn, no all dark those fucking spiders. Yet, but the earthquakes have been You're a badass. I was told to meet a shaper, Volta. But she's waiting below. You won't see an Orzammar Ooh. dwarf on the surface. They have rules about that. Oh, I'm aware. You don't like Orzammar? Um... The opening could close. Ah, oh, fuck it, I want to talk to you quite a bit here. It's very rare we get to talk to you properly. Tell me about these earthquakes. Uh, at least three big rumblers. And the aftershocks are nothing to sneeze at. Big rumblers, aw. Solid ground. I'm sure they do. How long, I guess you've just been a service dwarf for life, because you're not castless, you're not branded anyway. Well, I guess you are technically castless, but not treated like one, because you're a surfacer. Josephine's How are the Lyrium mines? Several Lyrium mines were damaged by the quakes. You'll see what's left of this one on your way down. I sort of assume they caused hear, them. The other mines are barely holding together. 
And no dark spawn of surface so far. That's a complete so lie. They were waiting outside for us. I sharpened my arrows just in case, but they never showed. I'm okay with that. You just used to be a farmhand, and you're capable of all of this. Uh, you don't like Ontsamar, then, huh? Your favorite place. I don't have an opinion. Cloud gazers like me aren't allowed in the city. <whistles> the lift's ready for you. Are all of our scouts dwarfs? Because I sent Cullen's men to build the lift. I guess all of our scouts are. Whatever. Uh, we're leaving Dorian behind. Excuse me. What are you doing? Oh, we're going up. Try not to shift around. Unless this is just a weird. No, we edge. are going up. It's what? A long way down. <laughs> oh, that's better. Thought Ortsmar was in the sky for a second, but this is this really, really cool. Slightly less high tech Shocking. than what we've seen in Ortsmar before, it's but about oh well. An impossibly handsome dwarf and his friend who got crowned king of the nugs. A nug king. <laughs> It's not as good as it sounds. Nugs mostly just shit on the floor and roll in it. Welcome to the deep roads. Is it me or is this the slowest lift? Oh, is that a reference to Rat Kings? Don't down. Google Rat Kings. They're the most I disgusting things in the music. world. It's horrifying. With a flute. Always wondered if I They're real as well. Here. You're not dead yet. The day's just starting. How did you expect him to die so far, Darwin? How was that meant to be fucking reassuring? There are trees all the way down here? This isn't Ortsumar. Like, Ortsumar doesn't look anything like this. Ortsumar is much, 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 much deeper. Hope these tunnels slope down, or this is gonna be... Ooh. Nalfric, your names will not be forgotten. You must be shaken. You know, dwarves aren't even meant to be able to see the sky, right? The Shaper, it welcomes you to the deep roads. Dwarven language. It's rare we actually get to hear that. Most of what we get is just sodding, or sod, or sodder. That's all we ever got out of Ogren. Um, you look why are you in the shadows? Hiding from something. Oh, As a citizen of Orzammar, because she is scared of the sky. Your sky could cost me my position and render me castless. Gotta love real dwarves. Wow, it's never been that bad before, was it? Like, I swear there are guards that sometimes stand on the outside. Um, or at least the door to Ortsuma will open. And th that sounds dumb. That doesn't sound like it used what to sound. Shaper do? Tell me about the Shaper. We chronicle the life and time. if that's also been changed. You're historians. Also scholars and genealogists. Shapers preserve knowledge in the memories, an archive in Orzammar. We record memories in Lyrium to ensure they never fade. We must be meticulous in every detail. Oh, yes, you must. Um, what's the latest? No, uh... Are there others Are you around? alone here? There's nothing to be done here but account for the dead. The rest are deeper into the roads. Our situation has worsened since we contacted Skyhold. The quakes yeah, I did leave it a very, very, very long open. time. Sorry about the that one. of the dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more lyrium. Okay, we've got a lot to ask about. Ah, wait, or is this special? Eh, eh. I don't know if that counts as special. Or hey, fuck it, let's say I know about the Legion. Dwarves who fight darkspawn in service to Orzammar. They commit their lives. Yeah, it's not exactly causes. difficult knowledge now, is it, Darwin? The deep roads. No matter their sins in life, the Legion die noble deaths. They sure do. I'm so glad that I didn't uh, somehow skip over this entire fucking investigation thing. Because sometimes it does, and it's really what annoying. Are the mines that important? The surface needs lyrium for all sorts of magic. The Inquisition more than most, I understand. And I wonder if Varric is going to get abused for being down here. Trade. He used to be a noble, Without right? There will be chaos above and below. Why call Orzmar upon the Inquisition? Darkspawn all the time. Why request the Inquisition's help? The Legion is she just gave you so many disaster. reasons, Tarawen. And the Grey Wardens haven't answered our calls for aid. Any threat to the flow of yeah, they're in a bit of trouble. Response. The Inquisition is the only force we can rely upon. The then we're happy to help. Ready to aid 
without a steady lyrium supply, things on the surface will get even worse. And also, it's the right thing to do, Darwin. Maybe lead with that. They are our allies, after all. You didn't even try to save her, you dick. I fear the damage that. Oh, she pushed you out of the way. Yeah, you got it. I just hope oh, <laughs> she runs so fast having such tiny legs. But yeah, I just hope that our uh, Skylift survives all this bullshit. And um, I did not look particularly safe now, did it? Oh, I've missed the deep road so We can go here whenever the hell we want. At least it seems that way because I can mark landmarks and everything. Storm Coast Fisher probably shouldn't just start claiming fucking tide dwelling dwarf grounds when we've been here for two seconds and let them die for many, 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 many days before we bothered to come here. From this ridge, exposed sections of the deep roads are visible below. There's history in the rock split by, the, by these... There's history in the rock split by these quakes. Okay. And for those without your footing, particularly dangerous for... I really hope I can return here. It's been really, really cool. I... I hope I can visit actual Ortsamar and compare it to the original and everything. And then probably be very, very disappointed when it looks nothing like the original, but oh well- OH MY GOD! Oh, I have missed you so much! Why are you so pale? You don't look like what ogres used to look like at all- Oh, they're gonna do the thing! They're gonna do the way ogres always do the thing! It's an alpha! Oh no! There's an ability with a physical effect like a stun or knockback or knock down. I don't have it. Wait, I do have one of those. I have my lovely little fist. There we go. You immediately drop him? It was never that easy before. Did they make it too easy to fuck with the ogres? And did I come here way, 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 way too soon? I can't even do chip damage. That's the first bit of damage we've done so far. I'm really, really afraid of this dude. He's immune to being cut. I don't think we're going to do this. I really, really don't. Uh, apparently it worked. Someone knocked him down. I don't know. Everyone is always applying status effects, so I don't think it really matters. What level was I supposed to come down here? This is even scarier than the Herlock Alphas, except for the fact they still do no damage whatsoever. Oh no, I'm lying. We've just used three potions already. I poison weapons immediately. What do you mean now while it's distracted? Am I meant to be running away? Or am I meant to be- I, I don't know what you want me to do. Maybe it's weak to fire. Fire definitely affects it. Unfortunately, all I have is an ice mate. I have like one fire attack and it's not particularly amazing But I can just keep using it over and 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 again uh, Guys, I don't know what to do This is taking forever. I don't think I mean I know we were told to bring the best we got but Our best is not working. Our best is accomplishing nothing. So what do I do? I'm almost in- I'm almost halfway out of fucking potions. This is terrible. Well, I have unfortunately discovered that this is DLC that most people do post-game. Uh, so that was a complete waste of time. We're not going to the deep roads anymore. Ortsma, you can remain suffering for quite some time. I apologize so very much, but I have quite literally no choice. God damn, there is no sort of specification that it's DLC or anything. Oh, Cullen is now home, but what, what else do I do? Hawk and Varric aren't even in the area anymore. Had I already researched Otsuma? I have. Oh god, did I really spend that much time trekking from the Storm Grows to Otsuma? Apparently yes. Alright, whatever. Looks like I'm gonna have to explore somewhere else entirely, somewhere else we've unlocked. But... I get the feeling the game wants me to just do warden things. Oh, oh no. Alright, well let's send Cullen off to do something else. I know so much of this is War Table, but I'm pretty sure that's just what the game is anyway. Um, I'll see her again. Uh, I gotta do my boring monotone woman voice. Uh, formally submitted report. Current progress and findings. Some animals in regions with closed rifts exhibit few of altered behaviors. But the results are inconsistent. Several anomalies in hunting patterns suggest the breach still impacts local wildlife. Furthermore, some species persist in erratic behaviors. I suspect that both the opening and closing of rifts cause fluctuation in the veil that continue to disturb their natural instincts. 
Long-term effects are still unknown. Studying the flight patterns of local songbirds may yield further results. Additional notes. I have forwarded a 50-page report to Commander Cullen, outlining ways to counteract aggressive behavior in several species. Signed, Hel Helisma, that's it, okay. Darrington, Inquisi Inquisition Researcher. So does that mean I can now beat up beasts a little bit easier? I fucking hope so. Oh yeah, I'm meant to be sending Cullen to go ahead and aid you, aren't I? At least that's what seems to be the best option here. Let's properly read it, because I don't think I have yet. We have received word that Movron the Under has made good on your judgment of armed exile into winter. He and his clan immediately state a claim to a large section of land along the Imperial Highway. At the edge of the Silent Plains, it is inhospitable and vacant, and they claim that they are not interested in banditry or actively threatening anyone. Beyond, of course, suddenly declaring that they now live within Imperium borders. Our Tabinta contacts say the relocation has caused significant concern among Magisters. It is difficult to present this as a positive, but perhaps we can notify Minrathus that we hope to they enjoy our reinforcements for their continued war against the Kunari. If you simply present them to unnerved Tavinta, it's it is possible to keep Movran's clan supplied without without explicit ties to us. Okay. A fine jest, and now it is done. I suggest cutting ties before their presence is considered provocation. Well, Cullen, that sounds like the most boring option. I don't know why I'm fucking with Tavinta as much as I am. Is there any real reason to do this? They're vaguely on our side, right? Like, we have a decent amount of supporters in Tavinta. Um, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah? Uh? I guess Leliana. So I can't really do this now. So... Let's back away. Let's back away and we'll send Colin to do something else. I just gotta remember that that is up there, because I've already- I, t I don't like it when there's no little marker on it to tell me that it isn't done. Um, Navara. No, Colin is not set to do that one by the looks of things. Man, no, he's not set to do anything. Locating, that doesn't sound like him at all. Deal with angry Vargas? Yeah, I did- I don't know. He's just gonna kill them, isn't he? We want Leliana to drive them away if we can. Recent Evangeline. Sister Leliana. So, uh, yeah, Cullen just murdering them is probably not the greatest idea. Um, I don't know what to do. I really, really don't. Send him into Ferelden? It is his home, after all, I think. Maybe, sort of. Maybe he came from Kirkwall, then to Ferelden, then back to Kirkwall. Now here? I, I can't remember. Outfitting the crew. 25, 27... 25. Hmm. Hastily uh, scribbled letter from the Quartermaster. While I would never question the wisdom of the Inquisitor in such a contentious time, if we are to insist on relying on mercenaries acting in our, in our names, I would ask that they represent us properly. We can't be seen to employ the, po the poorly equipped in the Inquisition. More exactly, I cannot. I humbly request permission to outfit the crew Sutherland leads. If they represent us, then they should reflect our influence. It would take little to have them look like the hidden arm they could be. He wishes them formidable. Make them formidable. Heavy armor. I don't think that fits Sutherland whatsoever. And I mean, he has mages in his team, dude. That's going to be awful. Um... I don't know. I'm probably gonna go for Leliana once she's back. So once again, Cullen, this is not your doing. Not your doing, you know what I mean. Not your thing. Crestwood resources, gather herbs, can't do any of this. Literally none of this is available for him. Scout Haven's ruins. Aha! No! For some reason that's better with Josephine too? Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time here, aren't I? Well, hey, there's gotta be something! All the glitters gather metals, Western Proach resources! Is this actually a thing? Ah, it's actually a thing! This does not take you very long, Cullen. I think we finally found something, even if it only takes nine minutes. 
with Griffin Wing Fortress now occupied. The Inquisition has access to the mines in the Gamorden Peaks as well as the busy trading routes in the Orlesian Heartlands. Inquisition forces can be directed to acquire metals and other materials used to crop weapons and armor. Trade in the Empire is currently erratic, so access to the resources will vary greatly from week to week. It's repeatable. Fuck! Damn it! Risk your own attempt to find resources is the greater chance of turning up nothing at all. Um, least risky. Best chance we have of finding rare. I don't see any point. I gotta be able to send you somewhere, don't I? All you can do is kill Varga. Oh, improving morale? It's fastest with Cullen, weirdly. Commander, our work continues in the approach. It's a difficult post, but our soldiers are determined to represent the Inquisition as best they can. Morale flags at times, but we manage. Like, like Captain Rylan. Simple comforts can go a long way, and rations don't lift a soldier's spirit. What? Rations don't lift a soldier's spirit. We can see that they have a good meal at the end of the day. The terrain in the approach is unkind. Our soldiers would be more comfortable if fitted with proper shoes. Perhaps a distraction would help. We can see about sending books. They could set up a small library. I think that is quite possibly the worst choice you could possibly imagine. Uh, Josephine, aren't you meant to be smart? I, I don't think our soldiers are the book-reading kind. I think Cullen has the smartest option here, genuinely. Um. Hmm. What's the best option here? I'm just gonna send in, uh... Alright. Cullen, I believe. Fuck it, go. Purely because he needs to do something. And that is indeed something. Maybe it's the option that's gonna make them feel the worst, though. I just realized the other things were actually improving their life. I guess it's a good meal as opposed to a ration. It's the most consistent improvement, I guess. Like, those good shoes will eventually die. Those books will eventually be read. Good meal every day. That's a good meal every day. Should I... I left the war table when I was going to try and do the warden thing. I just feel like we should do an actual mission now as opposed to just constantly exploring. I'll have a look at the map one more time and then we'll see what we can do. Because honestly, I don't have a whole lot longer to do uh, to keep this session going anyway. That is not how a normal person would frame that sentence, is it? It's so fucking hot again. I think it, it got really, really hot today, um, like it was getting before, and I think my brain has just started melting yet again, which is not a good thing. It's been better over the last couple of days. Today, very much not. So sorry for tripping over every word in the English language. So I'll in the deep road. No, because that will get me fucked. Crossback Basin, however, might not get me fucked. What is the Frostbat Basin? Is this also DLC? I'm a Google if it's DLC. I hope you guys don't mind. One sec. It's DLC! So let's not do that right now. Uh, we have the Emerald Graves, the Exalted Plains, and Prix de Lyon. <laughs> Lyon. That's how it's pronounced, trust me. Um, oh, you know what we could do? Let's go to the Forbidden Oasis and unlock a door or something. Oh, the wreck officer is going to ambush us as soon as we get there. Yeah, let's not allow that. Where is the closest camp that I can possibly get to? It's this one. I'm gonna bring mages, because I just like the idea of having mages. Maybe I'll bring an entirely mage party. We've never done that before, actually. And I'm quite intrigued as to how that would work. Let's see if it's even remotely good or if it's just going to get us thoroughly cucked. But I mean, it provides us the widest array of elements. And when we're dealing with like uh, the fire door and everything, obviously we want Vivian's fire magic. When we're dealing with the, um, what? No, when we're dealing with the fire door, we want fucking Dorian's ice magic is what I meant to say. Why is there a giant hanging out in the forgotten fucking oasis? Go away. No one asks you to be here. Everyone is... <sighs> I hate him. I hate him so much. Does this actually heal? Holy shit! There's a healing spell in this game! And it's on Vivienne, the mage least likely to do any healing. Uh, okay, combat clarity. So you just regain mana when you're near people. That's okay, I guess. Briefly invulnerable. I like that idea. Why not? Do you have to be on the move while you do it, or...? 
There is an arrow just buried in his back. That, that, that's not a good way to be living, my friend. Can we sneak past? Can we fucking ignore this bastard? It's the last thing I want to do. But to end off this session is have a fight with a goddamn giant. It's the worst thing in the world. Am I doing it? Am I avoiding him? I can't really see. Everything is vapor. That can be him. That, can, that is him. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm not even here. Oh, yeah. I'm meant to be climbing up, aren't I? We're fighting a giant. Of course. Oh, no. He's stuck on a pillar. Never mind. Okay, I forgot the AI is the worst thing in the world. Um, still don't know how to get up there, though. And now I think I have to go back and meet him again. Oh, good. Maybe I should just kill him and get it out of the way. Hopefully he won't respawn. Fine, let's see what three mages can do against this giant motherfucker. Especially if he's just chasing me, that would actually not be too bad. And I like the little light show we got going on. I'm not going to show you guys the light show because it's another giant fight, which will take forever. If it will ever get finished anyway, which it doesn't even seem like it will. What are you doing? What is any of this? He's taking no damage? What level are you? I won't even be able to tell because I'm not fighting him myself for some reason. Do your thing, Solus. Get up the goddamn barriers just in time. Jesus Christ, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, thank fuck, I landed on the pillar. I could- Who the hell are you? Hello? You weren't here before. Who's moved into my lo- Oh, God, my lovely ritualistic cave of pain. They got him and now I'm never, ever, ever gonna be able to make the jump again. Wait, yes I can, yes I can, it's easy. Ah, she's dead too. Drink up, drink up, drink up. You're useless. Why can't you do anything? This stupid fucking game. It feels really broken for some reason. I, I can't do shit. Are they just meant to be this bad? What the fuck is... I'm tempted to stop. I'm, the game has made me very, very angry today. And that never really happens with any game at all. I don't really rage at anything or whatever the fuck. Much to a lot of people's dissatisfaction, I imagine. But, um, yeah. I, I, this is awful. Th this has just been fucking... The game has not been functioning today. I don't even know who the hell you are or why you're in my lovely cave, but go away. Teleport all the corpses over here. I, I'm not dealing with them. Like, the game is not functional enough, functional enough for me to be able to deal with them. Maybe it's my fault for going the weirdest way here possible, but... I, I couldn't find the other way, and it was angering me, so I tried to go the other way. What do we got in here? This is the cold door. We have more ice magic than we do fire magic, so I think we're going to do the fire one today, because I imagine that's the one we can defeat the easiest. We have eight more health potions. I wonder if it scales with me, or if it's about as tough as the um, spirit one. Either that, or maybe they sort of go up in difficulty in terms of left to right. In which case, I'm very terrified. You're not fiery. You're a corpse. Corpses take less damage to ice. Corpses are practically made of ice. Uh, is it just for fire mages then? Is that how that's supposed to work? And the other one was for spirit mages? I guess everything I was fighting in there was like lightning powered or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Well, at least they're finally fucking talking. Well, dear, I hope you can take care of yourself. Should we encounter anything outside your experience? I will try in my own He's way better than you could ever be, Vivian. I used to really like her, but Ah, wait. Ha <laughs> fuck. You were not there. She doesn't even have any response. I didn't realize Solus was the Sas god. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad this pleases me very much. Someone finally putting Vivian in her place. I imagine uh, uh big boy Dorian could probably do it too. He does just seem like the sassiest dude in our entire team. Blackwall could, but he never really tries with her. I think he's maybe got a little thing for her, actually. No, 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 we've already tried. There's nothing in there. Uh. At least all the enemies here are kind of pathetic, even though the enemies that we fought to even manage to get to the, uh, to the shards that have allowed us into this place were way tougher than what we're fighting here. Uh oh god, I have to take that, don't I? We don't get the boost. Is this fire resistance? I don't remember. Got ourselves a little bit of fire resistance, hell yeah. It's like plus two. I don't know if that's plus two percent or plus what, but oh well. Here we go. Can I unlock all of them? 
I'm missing two shards. I'm not even gonna be able to get all the way through. Oh well, at least we vaguely resist fire at least a little bit. <laughs> Corpse archer, fucking fantastic. That's what they went with. All right, well, um, I need to be Vivian for a little while because we need some fire. Or do we? Do we? Or could I just kill them anyway? It's not like we actually need to try to take out things about 10 levels below us or whatever the hell they are. Actually, they can be frozen. Maybe they aren't weak to fire. Oh, well, at the very least, they're not strong to ice. At least entirely resistant. Anyway, there we go. That was it. That's all you had for me. How very, very scary. That one used to be a Templar, apparently. I don't think it is particularly safe to walk on top of what is quite literally a stove. The flames are literally piercing this, Vivian. You must be extremo warm. What do we got in here? Fire essence, intense fire essence. A good belt and a half decent ring. Immolate ring, I don't actually know what that is. I guess that's just surround yourself with flame. Oh good, it does go into Darwin every time. I haven't fucked up and just let that go into Vivian or anything. Okay, well, give me all the money you could possibly ever fucking give me. Uh, that's just ring velvet. I want ring velvet. I want money. Although ring velvet is probably also pretty damn good. Materials and cash. That's all I ever really want. Well, and equipment, actually. But all the equipment you keep giving me down here is dog shit. Thanks. Much appreciated. So I might as well just get money to buy half decent equipment elsewhere. Have I been in here? I feel like I have. It also vaguely looks like Kirkwall's symbol, but it isn't. What did you just call me? Did he even say in there? It sounded like Vanitas, as in Kingdom Hearts, but it obviously wasn't. The hell was that? I don't know. I'll have to uh, go back and take a look at that in editing. But whatever, we don't have enough shards, unfortunately. So the one thing I thought we could do to end off the most frustrating session so far was, uh, ends like this. Ends prematurely. We got 10 minutes left. There's got to be something I can do. I mean, I could go into the cold one. I think we've got vaguely enough. Wait, 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 there's no point really starting the ice one if I, uh, haven't finished the fire one. Especially since the spirit one gave us some seriously good, uh, spirit gear. So I think the fire will do the same. Then I can give that to Vivian or something if I ever can. Oh, God. If I, ever, if I ever plan to continue to make a half decent at flame or whatever the hell. Right? Right. Okay, let's get out of here. I guess I'll just send Josephine on a mission back in Skyhold because she recently got back. I don't know if Leliana is still, um, is still on her mission or not, but whatever. Might as well read that out, because I don't like doing them without sort of showing you guys what I'm about to do. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry this ended in the way it did. This was sort of a real disappointing ending, isn't it? Or at least for me. Maybe it's just, I mean, it's still fucking content. But I mean, I had to reload the DLC, because I didn't mean to do DLC. I then had to get halfway into the fucking fireplace while getting absolutely obliterated outside. And now I'm gonna have to do that journey into it yet again. Ah! Whatever. Here we go. Josephine, have you got anything going on? Can I actually talk to you? You're actually saying something! Fuck yeah! Of course she does. She is quite literally royalty, though. It must do something. Oh my god, I banged a queen, or a future queen, as long as we kill. I believe she was 26th in line, wasn't she? Or was it 76th? It's something insane. We got a lot of murdering to do. Because I want to be king. It's not even how it works, is it? I think I'd remain prince since she'd be queen. That's sad. Oh well. Summon the War Council. Send Josephine and potentially Liliana on something, or at least read their reports. I don't know what Josephine is actually capable of doing right now. Uh, hopefully I can send her on a very long one. Thanks for Machantry, sister. Uh, who's this from? Sister Paulette. Inquisitor Lav Lavalan. Uh, I have joined my sisters in Denarim's Chantry. It is grander than the Chantry in my former village. I believe I can do some good here. I founded a charity aid. 
A charity to aid those the breach and the fade rifts impacted. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm glad I didn't just let Laliana convince me to leave her alone. That sounds like a really good thing. That she probably doesn't have to be too actively involved in either. I tell all who ask that the Inquisition made this possible. Make his blessings upon you. Sister Paulette. Fuck yeah. All right, Josephine. Where are we sending you? You. You reclaiming the mage rebellion conscript for the inquisition oh yeah that's like no i want leliana to do that i think oh no this is a completely different thing what is this sounds like something josephine does well but at the same time it's not long enough to send her on right now right i would rather send her on a really really long mission just to go overnight so hmm Mavran. I think that was just try to convince him that it's reinforcements. That doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Observing the deadlock. It's gotta be a fucking... It's not a Josephine thing. Wow. Or maybe it is. Alliance is observing the deadlock. What is this, anyway? It was to be expected in the wake of so many important deaths and the rise of the Inquisition. Several noble houses are attempting to spur their fortunes by creating an alliance of their own. For now, they seem mired in arguments of seniority. It will be a long time before any of them threaten our standing. Maybe we can quell it already? Or get any alliances who will exist potentially on our side. Leliana just seems like she doesn't give a fuck. We can definitely use this to our advantage or quell it to stop being a disadvantage. I say invite them to dis observe our soldiers' training. Show that we are not heretical outlaws. Let them squabble on their own. Poking them at this point is wasted energy. Wasted energy that will still take me one hour and 18 minutes to do quite literally nothing. Um, I suggest someone be offered as ambassador of the Herald, not the Inquisition, if only to let them know in a non-threatening way that we are watching. Actually, none of those sounds good. None of those sounds good at all. Let ah. us begin. Fuck it. There you go, Josephine. Do it if you want. I mean, it's a bit more subtle than Cullen being like, hey, come look how big our dicks are, right? So I, I think that's probably the best choice we have there, man, it feels weird ending a session early. I mean, I guess it makes up for me going overtime a little bit, but well, I have five minutes left. It's not really start worth starting anything with five minutes left, is it? It just sounds dumb. Um, yeah. Wow. The game gave me a lot of shit today, and I gave the game a lot of shit today. It's weird because I ended last session and some of the sessions prior absolutely loving this game. Being really, really high on just the insane spectacle that we've been seeing. The adorable scenes with Cassandra. But there's just, the thing is, there's been no character work in this session. I don't think I've had any scenes outside of with anyone outside of Josephine and shit like that. Which is fine. I like Josephine and all. But like I said, the game is best when it's doing its character work. It's best when it's doing its story beats. Well, character work more so than story beats, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This was a very combat-focused session. An exploration-focused session. And the combat really exposed itself as painful. I may need to take a little break from this game. I'm not entirely sure because at the time of recording, it is the 10th of June. Which means tomorrow Sony is doing their massive PS5 reveal event, which I'm very, very excited for. It's going on for like, I believe it was an hour and a half, maybe two and a half hours if I remember. No, I think it is an hour and a half or somewhere around then. I'm very, very excited about that. Can't wait to see what next gen offers and everything. So it's going to be a shorter session tomorrow anyway, because I do want to catch that live. Uh, might even stream it. I don't know. Don't know why I'm telling you, because it would have passed ages ago in terms of um, when you're watching this, or at least even at time of upload. Ah... Uh, I don't know, because I'm really loving this, and I know if I just give it, like, another session, that it will really, it, it'll become amazing again. I guarantee you, I start doing some main quest, and I'm like, fuck yeah, this game is awesome. When it's firing on all cylinders, when it's doing what it does right, it is absolutely fantastic. And then other times, it's terrible. So, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably keep going. I just, I'm venting a little bit here. I imagine you've already clicked off, which I would not blame you for. Um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I do enjoy this game. I hope I haven't really made it seem too much otherwise. It's just, I love Bioware so much. 
Uh, I've loved my time with Dragon Age over the past month, or maybe even a little over a month now, so very much. It can't be over a month, surely. Um, I've loved it so very much. I love the characters. I love everyone that I've met along the way. And I want this series to be treated in the way it deserves. I want the games to be as good as the series deserves. And while it is, while it, when, when like I said, when this game is amazing, it's amazing, obviously. When the game is... So, but sometimes the game shows its threadbare in places and stuff like that. And it just could have used a bit more time. I imagine EA rushed it out the door. Like, obviously, Dragon Age Origins, 2009. Dra Dragon Age 2, 2011, I believe. And obviously, that was Awakening in 2010. And then Dragon Age Inquisition in 2014. They had uh, Max, I believe, that was DLC for Dragon Age 2 in 2012. So... Roughly about two and a half years of development for a game of this size that I've been playing and barely made a dent in for the last 70 hours. So it sort of makes sense. And EA rushed it like fuck because they always do. But it's just... You do still feel like that Bioware magic, right? That fucking cliche that they have, which sounds immensely gay, but they still use it to this day for some reason. Even in, in terms of Anthem. With Anthem 2.0 or whatever the hell they're calling it. Still fucking touting that Bioware magic, which I guarantee will not apply to Anthem. But yeah, I just... I'm loving this. I really am. But this session was a fucking slog in places. Like, several... I think we had five battles where I just had to jump cut in between... Uh, five is just a random number I threw out. But a decent amount of battles where I just had to jump cut through them. Even though they were, they looked like they could have been epic. The giant fights, terrible. And Dragon Age deserves better than that. Bioware deserve better than their combat to look like that. You know? And I hope that that is rectified in Rise of the Dreadwolf. I should really Google that eventually, because I keep saying it, session after session. It probably isn't even the name. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I am having fun. Please don't think I'm not having fun. It is a fantastic game when it wants to be. Other times, it's rough as hell, but it's worth it. It's worth getting through those patches because of the amazing characters, because of the wonderful story that the- What the fuck? What? That's a weird little detail they didn't need to do. Either that or an animation bug. I don't know, it's- a, and now it's gone. It was probably an animation bug. I don't know what the hell's going on. I should really end this. I just talked my way to ending the session on time anyway, somehow, but whatever. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, share, comment, do all that amazing stuff. It really does help out both me and the channel. And I will see you in the next one. But for now, this is Strike, signing off. Goodbye!